Oh man, I'm so wet. Dude. It is really freaking wet out here. Alright, hey, this is Hans the Ramen Raider coming at you with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time. This is a show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. And today it's another early show. I'm doing a couple early ones just after 10 a.m. here in Kenmore, Washington. It is raining and windy. I mean, it was like dumping this morning. I can't even explain. Uh, that intro video, that's from a while back. But the one you'll see at the end, that one's from this morning. Anyway, okay, Oriental Kitchen. It's like a yeah, shrimp stir-fried tom yum sauce. This is really good. It's a nice dry noodle. Four minutes on the boil, a drain, and a stir, and you're groovy. Let's see. What we got here got multiple sachets. Drop it in the noodles. And we got one, two, three, four minutes. Yeah, let me make sure. Drain. Yeah, pretty basic. So here's all the sachets. Wow. So you cook it, you drain it. one I've had before it's kind of like a lot easier if I do have the time they're still changing all the scheduling for uh, my son's school stuff online so it's kind of a matter of playing it by ear yeah, little shrimpies let's turn this down a little bit yeah I got really soaked this morning but Enough about that. It's time for our quote of the day from the amazing, wonderful book, Momofuku Ando Speaks. These are quotes from the man who invented the instant noodle. So let's, let's hear one, shall we? We shall. Um... Number 50, wherever I go, if I see a crowd of people, I peer over their shoulders. I touch products and ask questions if taking the product in my hands fails to give me the answers. If I still do not understand, I buy the product and bring it home. So basically he's saying that by going and looking at the stuff people are buying and you still don't get it, bring it home, see what it's doing for people, because apparently people like it. Um, yeah, cool. It's a good morning. Like I said, I, uh, I got wet, but I can live with that. It's hard, you know, I, I don't know well enough to leave it alone. <laughs> I gotta get outside and do my walking, and if I don't do that, I get kind of irritated. I don't want to get irritated. But, yeah, first walk this year that I wore my big, heavy coat. I've got these L.L. Bean uh, field jackets my mom used to always get me every once in a while. And they are like tanks. They, they are like the thickest, heaviest uh, canvas jackets ever. I really like them. And they have a, a lining that you can like unbutton it and it comes out. It's like super warm. But, yeah, kind of nice, kind of nice, but it's soaked right now. The hard part of when you go out walking at four in the morning and you get home before everybody else wakes up, you don't want to wake everybody up when you got to go change out of your wet clothes. So I got to sit for an hour in wet clothes and then get changed. But. Uh, I'm I'm of stout stuff. Don't worry about me. I'm, I grew up here in the Seattle, Washington area. I can handle uh, getting wet. Can handle getting wet, right? What's going on? What did we watch last night? I can't even remember. What did we watch last night? Uh, wow. 
I'm a total loss. Maybe it just wasn't that good. I thought we liked it though. Huh. Oh, we started watching a movie. What movie was it? Oh, now I'm gonna beat my brains. You know what that means? Oh boy, I'm in trouble. Um, what movie were we watching? Oh, 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 now I remember. We watched this Will Ferrell movie that neither of us had ever heard of. And my wife is a big fan of Will Ferrell movies. And, uh, yeah, what was it? Uh, it's called Eurovision. It's like where he and some chick are like singers and they're trying to get on this thing and it's always been his dream and it's, and it's pretty funny. It kind of reminds me of uh, Zoolander a little bit, just mainly from the subject matter. Some parts of it are just kind of like embarrassing to watch because they start to like, it was like this one montage where they're all like going by and singing American Idol style and it's just like... Enough. Enough. It was funny at first, and now it's just grating on my nose. It has driven me almost to the point of insanity. There. Now I am insane. That kind of deal. That's what we haven't watched in a while. Gotta set the recast to record uh, SNL. When I was a teenager, I did not miss an episode of SNL. In fact, my buddy had come over and neither was saying it and watch it, usually on Sunday morning. Yeah, good stuff. I've been watching that for years, decades. In fact, I'm as old as SNL is. That says it. So the year they have their 50th anniversary, I'll be 50. The year they have their 200th anniversary, I'll be 200. And I'll be there. I better be there. 200 years is hardly enough to explore all the avenues that I have open to me. It's true. See, I really like this hat. It's, it's turning into beanie time of year. But what you don't know is if you turn this hat around, on the other side, there's a, uh, it's, it's, it's like a ski mask. But I don't really want to wear a ski mask. I don't want to have like a hat that fits over my entire head with a little hole in the middle. So. Rainbow. Miles got props from his teacher for answering all the questions. Yeah, actually props from another teacher. That the and, the and his teacher like dropped it. Yeah, he answers the questions. He listens. He does stuff. Looking like wow, that's groovy. And this is groovy too. Well, let's give a taste. Of this I know what this tastes like. I know I like it. It's kind of like a sweet, spicy Tom Yum. And it's enjoyable. So let's do this. Cheers. Mmm. Got a good heat to it. Nice lemongrass. Groovy. Alright. Lighting is so bad today. The hot yellow moon has decided to not come out and play. And so, 
have a feeling the uh, thumbnail for this will come out nicely. That's kind of how it works. When it's cloudy, I do the thumbnail over on the windowsill. And if it's sunny, I do the, th the, the thumbnail uh, right behind me on the counter because it's it'll just be too bright on the windowsill. But, yeah. It's gonna be one of those days. You just like get a full spectrum bulb. Yep, that's what I got for doing the overhead shot. Ah. But this one won't get a regular review. This one is just gonna hang out. Um, do I want anything else? I think maybe I'll use some of this stuff. My chabe. There it is. This is an Indonesian sauce, but I really, really dig it. Chabe. Hey, Chabe. Look a little Chabe these days. And. Oh. Oh. Well. <laughs> Reminds me of a song. The black, black seed today. Oh, crudito. Let's egg it up. from India. No, I'll save the salted egg for another day. Don't worry. I've reviewed that one before as well. But see, I'm like a hundred and almost 130 reviews ahead on the website. So I can do all these re-reviews and keep staying ahead on the uh, Instant Noodle Recipe Time episodes. So yeah. Whoop, 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 whoop. Come on, you. Rotato, do it. Wishing you enjoyment your noodles each and every day. Have a good one. Bye.